Bonded labor is not new to Pakistan. Many people, including children, are being exploited by their employers since they have to repay their debts. Our correspondent Daniel Kublai Khan looks into the life of a child whose family members have worked like this for over a decade. Innocent dreams and hopes become visible in the eyes of a well-protected child. But that's not the case with these children. They are robbed of their childhood and are forced to do back-breaking work by their inauspicious circumstances. They open their eyes in a dark and painful world, where they were made to bear their family burdens at an early age. Some of them work alongside their parents. Others don't even have that luxury. Ghulam Ali is the caretaker of these laborers at this Brickland in Tarnal, a small town located about 30 kilometers from the federal capital. He makes sure that the work continues smoothly. He is constantly in touch with the clan owners, telling them about the day's activities. <laughs> These children literally work like an ant. Just like these small insects struggle to gather food grain, lifting a load much heavier than their own weight, these children earn their living by carrying these bricks from one place to another. Every morning, nearly 100 million children in Asia go to work instead of school. Some of them work because their families can't put food on the table without them. Others are made to slog for up to 14 hours a day just to pay back their family's small debts. One such heartbreaking story is that of Imran Ali. This child was born in 1994. He does all the household chores and then knuckles down to work. He is the eldest of eight brothers all work as Brooklyn laborers. Imran wants his siblings to have a brighter tomorrow. Chote man, I want to be a doctor, a doctor, a pilot, or an engineer. So, how much money is it? From this work. From this work, we will give it. Imran makes around 400 bricks a day. He works with his father hoping that one day they will be able to repay their debt of 50,000 rupees. The family had borrowed that amount from the owner of his brick clan since Imran's mother had to undergo an emergency surgical procedure. Imran wanted to go to school but he never got the opportunity. His family members dream of breaking out of this vicious cycle of poverty. Bonded laborers, along with their wives and children, suffer brutal captivity across the country. They are subjected to violence and given death threats when they ask for remuneration. Many of them are also sexually exploited. This phenomenon is being practiced right outside the federal capital and it has been going on here for the last several decades. The Brickland workers have taken to the streets several times in the past. Hundreds of human rights organizations have also been working to alleviate their suffering. But apparently, nothing has changed for them. Tragically, thousands of children in Pakistan are working in bonded labor. They know less of fun and play and more of pain and darkness. Hunger, poverty and discrimination had left them desperate and has made them lose all hope of a brighter future. Daniel Khan, Daw News, Tarnal.